Previously, on part one of the orientation period in the Philippine Merchant Marine Academy, we have seen the activities that the probationary midshipmen went through during reception and the first day of their training. Five hundred seventy-six aspirants reported to the academy, but after the first day, one hundred eight have already quit. And that was just the first day. They still have 30 days of training left, and if they successfully complete it, they will officially become part of the Corps as fourth class midshipmen belonging to the class of 2023. So, what exactly do they need to learn during the one month orientation period? Basically, we teach them how to conduct themselves in a military manner. We teach them how to march, how to salute, and how to execute rifle drills. And we teach them what PMMA is all about. The objectives, the regimental rules and regulations, the traditions, and most importantly, the honor system. The primary function of the orientation staff is to prepare the probationary midshipmen to function as fourth class midshipmen or the lowest ranking cadets of the Corps. You see, the Corps of Midshipmen is comparable to a very large ship's crew. You have a captain, officers, and crew members. Each and every one has their own function, has their own responsibilities and specific roles to play. As mariners, we always say that we are on board one ship and that the fault of one is the fault of all. So if someone slacks off in his duties and an incident occurs because of it, then the whole ship and the whole crew suffers. Perhaps the most important thing that the probies need to learn within the orientation month is to adapt to the daily routine. Every weekday at 0430 hours, Reveille is sounded which signals the probies to wake up. After fixing their bunks, they immediately go to the formation ground for morning muster. Once everyone is accounted for, it's time for daily calisthenics and road run. In the first few days, the exercises are of course regulated in order to let the probies gradually adjust. They increase in difficulty as the days go by until they surpass the minimum repetitions and distances that they will be required to do every day during the regular school days. After the morning exercises, they go back to the quarters for cleaning stations and prepare themselves for morning mess. A lot of people have mixed reactions regarding the way the probies eat, which is called square meal, saying that, ah, oh, this is useless. No one eats like that on board a ship. Well, nobody eats like that anywhere. But, for the benefit of those who have never experienced this, you have to internalize what these things develop in the cadets. It's not the actual task that we want them to learn. That is small-minded thinking. All these things, the shouting, the awkward posture, and other stuff, they are just tools to develop something much more important, which is the way that the cadets should behave under stress. It actually trains them to be mindful of their actions and 
pay attention to detail and do things by the number while their body is in an awkward and uncomfortable position and in a stressful environment. Believe it or not, it helps in training the cadets to focus on the task, even if they are in a stressful situation. And this is useful in any profession. <laughs> Believe me, I have sailed with a lot of people who couldn't even answer simple questions or even follow simple instructions when they are stressed. Being able to remain stable under pressure is a skill which can only be developed through practice. You can't learn these things inside a classroom. The orientation period is not all about physical exertion. The probies also need to learn many other things, like PMMA's rules and regulations, to name a few. In addition to the lectures conducted by the orientation staff, the probies also have introductory academic classes in navigation and marine engineering, as well as refresher classes in math and English. In addition to the lectures and physical training, one other significant aspect of being a PMMA cadet is the military drills, which include marching and rifle drills. Standing in formation and moving as one unit is a concept that may be foreign to most of these probies, but they need to learn the basic executions in the soonest possible time, as PMMA cadets regularly participate in military parades both within and outside the academy grounds. So in essence, the probies who were used to living carefree lives as individuals are now being trained to function as a single unit. Their mindsets are being molded to develop critical thinking and to always take into consideration that their actions, whether good or bad, will always have consequences and affect not only themselves, but also the entire ship. By 1730, the probies will be done with evening mess, so they'll be heading back to the quarters for cleaning stations and to attend to personal necessities. At 1900 hours, study call will be sounded. This is the time allotted for them to review their lessons. At 2130, the probies will proceed to the formation ground for last muster. After everyone has been accounted for, they will proceed back to the quarters, and by 2200 hours, taps will be sounded, which means everyone should be on their bunks and go to sleep. Being described like that, the daily routine sounds very straightforward and simple enough to follow. And once you get used to it, it just becomes your own routine. But some people are just not cut out to follow a regimented lifestyle. And as the days turn into weeks, plus the long absence from your family and friends, no connection to mainstream and social media, homesickness starts to crawl in and eventually take its toll. By the end of the second week, a total of 226 probies have resigned. Halfway into the orientation period, only 350 probies remain in the academy. And among them are some of those who we interviewed before all of this started. How have you been doing this past two weeks? I, I've been doing fine, sir. I'm strong, alive, and kicking, sir. I'm still adapting to, the, to my new environment here, sir. It's been difficult, sir, but I'm still enjoying the training, sir. It's hard, but I can take it, sir. So do you think you will be able to make it until the end of the orientation period? I think I can make it until the end of the orientation period, sir, because I think I have the determination perseverance, hard work, and the discipline to be part 
and overcome entrances inside the institution, sir? I definitely think that I can, sir, um, because uh, uh, I've I've already been here for two weeks, and two more weeks wouldn't um, hurt that much. Aye, aye, sir, because I already made it this far, and I will try my best to complete it until the end. So, was it really your uh, ambition or dream to study here at PMMA? Aye, aye, sir. Actually, my father didn't want me to uh, um, to study here because he knows how tough it is inside the academy. But I insisted, and um, they can't do anything but to support. Your plans? Um, my plans are to, uh, if ever they will hold uh, an examinations for the Navy and the Coast Guard, I will probably um, take the opportunity to um, join the examination. It's because I definitely want to serve the country here. At this point of the orientation month, most of the probies would have already acclimated. Their bodies and minds have more or less adjusted to the demands of a regimented daily routine. From here until the last day of their orientation training, only a few more probies have resigned, and a total of 341 out of the original 576 for both male and female completed their training. A total of 63 probationary midshipwomen came aboard for the orientation period. Out of 63, only 28 made it to the last day. On the 31st of July, 2019, the probies marched into the parade ground and in front of their family and friends, took their oath as the newest members of the PMMA Corps of Midshipmen. Each and every one of them were called and their serial numbers announced. This signifies that they are no longer probies. They have finally earned their place as fourth class midshipmen. At the end of the parade, the fourth class midshipmen will get to see their loved ones for the very first time since starting their training a month ago. It is usually an emotional moment for everyone involved, especially for those who have never been away from home for extended periods of time. And the physical transformation that the cadets have gone through were so drastic that a good number of parents don't immediately recognize their sons or daughters when they see them for the first time as cadets. To celebrate their accomplishment, the fourth class cadets get to share lunch with their visitors. usually ends up looking like a feast, as the families usually bring lots of food for everyone to share. After lunch comes the event that every fourth class midshipman has been waiting for, their first liberty. After successfully enduring the one-month orientation period, 
they are given a few days of shore leave to refresh and recharge and get themselves ready for the start of the regular classes. After all, the oath taking is not the end. In fact, it is only the beginning of their voyage as cadets of the Philippine Merchant Marine Academy. Maruha! Let's 